Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. Today in this video I want to share with you a scrum board. If you are um, working in the agile world, then you're probably using a scrum board or a Kanban board. It's pretty similar, but in this, in this file I want to share with you how to uh, be able to use Excel for that, at least to get you started. So this sheet, this workbook has three sheets, the backlog sheet, which is where you maintain your user stories and decide which sprint those user stories will appear, a parameters sheet with some information, and a master sheet, which is going to be show you how the sprint uh, with each sprint is going to be copied from that. So this is the first uh, sheet, which is completely uh, blank. This is how you start off. And let's say you have theme one, epic one, sorry, epic. What's going on here? Epic one, feature one, user story. Let's see, this is number one. And the title is, uh, I don't know, do so. <laughs> is uh, develop new report and the description is something you know uh, add fields columns da, 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 da. the DOD or definition of done should be um, report should something whatever okay never mind so you have your first user story. Then let's have another user story for the same bunch. Okay, and this would be a uh, export to Excel. Yay. Okay, so allow user to export to Excel. Uh, so this should be this will be an, an output button, for example. What? So this is just examples. And then let's say we have already another theme. Epic three. Sorry, this one is going to be my mistake. Epic two feature. Two, okay. User story three, and this is going to be um, I don't know. Of course, these are names, right? This is not going to be theme. It's going to be let's say let's let's call this MVP, MVP, non MVP. Okay, to make it more clear, this would be um, I don't know uh, launch June. Launch June, then this would be something else, right? After launch. And this would be, um, this would be reports. Let's say feature is reports. And this feature would be um, input data. Or you know what, mobile app. That's that sounds good. That sounds better. So the mobile app and the title would be, let's say, for user story is uh, create app, and and this would have also allow user to access system via phone. Okay, and the DoD would be. I don't know, app. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's assume this is our backlog and you see automatically we can start filtering things over here. Um, and I do want to uh, actually enlarge this. So 
let's just do this. Just copy this over here. And four, five, six, seven. all the way to 12, so we have some more user stories. And I'm just gonna, to save time, I'm just gonna call this A, B, C, D, E, E, F, G, H, I. Okay, and the description, I'm just gonna call the same, just to save some time. Okay, so we have like 12 user stories from a few different um, theme epics and features. And now we want to create our, our sprint plan. So we have this button over here, create new sprint. So I need a new sprint number. So number one is going to be my first one. What happens now is that this sheet is being copied over here to sprint number one. And now I have a sprint. Now I can select the sprint number and I can assign these user stories. Let's say all of these are going to go to number one. And let's say I have another sprint. So I want to create another sprint number two. Okay, now I'm going to have an option t for number two. The list is over here. This this part is being updated every time when you add sheets. So I'm going to add this one to number two. Why is it showing here? This should have appeared over here as well. Okay. All right. Um, and let's put this also in number one. Okay, now if you go to number one, number two, they're still empty, you don't see anything here. So what you gotta do, you gotta click on the update sprint sheet. This is whenever you make changes with the different sheets. Now this will copy for each sheet the relevant user stories. Okay, if we go to sprint number one, so now you see only the user stories one through six plus 11 and 12. You have the title, the description. Okay. And now you have to update the status and the assigned to. So this is coming from here. Sorry. This is coming from here. There's a status uh, options and there's a team options. Of course, everyone can change that. So let me just go ahead and add new active and assign people to, well, if it's new, it's not un unassigned yet. Um, active, deployed, deployed, and testing, and testing, and active. Okay, Lewis, uh, Tim, who else do we have here? Mary, Steve, and let's give Mary one more. So you assign the status and the assign to, and you see on the right already, you see basically your, your backlog based on the status already sorted uh, with the name of the, the name, um, the name, the, uh, the number, it should also show the number. and um, the name of the person assigned to, okay? And here on the right, there's two nice dashboard charts for you, showing you um, the um, status of, of the user stories in the sprint and the user stories per member, okay? The, uh, the data for the chart is over here and it's being pulled automatically. Um, based on the uh, definitions here and just a simple count if. 
So you get this immediate review of the situation. And uh, this is what you need to update. If you go back to the backlog, now you will see that you have the status and assigned to for each user story and you can filter based on them. Again, sprint number two, Lewis, Job. This could be also different teams if you want. Uh, so these are gonna be all active or deployed. Okay. So, um, and you see also the same chart over here with the relevant people. And now let's say time goes by and, and, and you've moved, you've completed the sprint, but you have to move these two user stories to uh, sprint uh, number three, for example. So you can create a new sprint. Okay, it's gonna be empty. And now I'm moving these into sprint number three. So I don't have any status in assign here and sprint number three is empty uh, and it's still showing under sprint number two. But once I hit the update sprint sheets, it should be sorted. Okay, so it's, it's deleted from here and it's copied over here with the same people. And of course you can change that. Here you have a button to delete the sprint. If you made a mistake, for example, I created another sprint and it was a mistake, I want to delete it. You can just click on this. It's important to click on it because the list of sheets is updated and if you don't do it that way, you can still select it over here. Uh, also, in the new sprint, you cannot create uh, an ident identical sprint name or number. If you uh, click on a number that exists, it gives you this pop-up message and doesn't allow you to create the sprint. So now you see you can actually filter here to see people. Um, this is the sprint uh, plan, basically, and the status in a table format and also in some dashboard in some sheets. Um, and this is pretty much, there's some VBA coding obviously going around here in the background. If it's interested, if people are interested, please write a comment and I'll, I'll go deep into the VBA code to share with you. Um, and if you want to receive the file, leave a comment and I'll be happy to share it with you. And if you like the video, please make sure to subscribe. Um, I'll be adding another layer to this with a dashboard for the all the sprints. So stay tuned for the next video on this subject. Take care. Bye.